Welcome, everybody, to this episode of the Ninth Grade Experience Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Stuchko. The goal of our podcast is to give you the story of the ninth grade students here at Emmaus High School and beyond through the people that live it daily, the students and the staff. We attempt to touch on real issues and stories that ninth grade students face in order to prepare them to know that ninth grade counts. Well, we made it through the first week of school here. It was an interesting one, to say the least, four-day week, uh, capped off by the weather uh, delay that we had this morning. If you had weather delay on your back to school bingo card, then you're definitely a winner this week. Um, but an interesting way to end the first week of school here. So hopefully everyone had a positive and productive first week of school uh, as we're getting back into the swing of things here, uh, getting used to our new schedule, the new times and different challenges that come along with that. So on this episode, we were able to catch up with uh, two students who gave us a couple minutes to recap the end of their first week of high school and to talk a little bit about their experiences and how it went. Uh, for me personally, being back here in the building uh, with all of our students has been uh, awesome to have that experience again. And one of the things that I really valued in our first week was just getting to see students' faces when we were doing an activity or when they figured something out. Uh, it's something that it was hard to see on Zoom, so it was really great to be back in person and to see students interacting uh, you know, with all of our precautions and everything and to get them to really engage in material and you know, get back to those interactions that I think all teachers and students really value in the education process and uh, getting students back to being used in the building and those kinds of things. So it was really great to be back in person to be able to share in those experiences and to begin moving us forward here for the remainder of our school year. So we, we're gonna share a couple of uh, little feedback from a couple of students on their first week as well too. So we always wanna remind you that if you like what you're seeing here, you can go to ninthgradeexperience.com and you can see all of our previous episodes and listen to all of our previous episodes. You can subscribe to our channel, Ninth Grade Experience, on YouTube. Uh, if you're listening to this in the audio format, you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or anywhere where you get podcasts. And we're always looking for uh, stories and people to reach out. We're working on some cool episodes upcoming. Uh, our next episode for next week is going to be a kind of remembrance of the 20th anniversary of September 11th. So we're reaching out to different teachers and administrators and even students to see what they remember from that day if they were teaching, if they were ninth grade students, or even some of our students here in the high school to see what they know about that date. It's hard to believe that it's 20 years ago. So that's a, a future episode that we're working on that will be out for next week. So uh, please hopefully you download that one and take a listen to that as we're working on that one as well too. So we look forward to sharing more stories with you throughout the remainder of the school year and we're excited to be back. And hopefully you enjoy this episode hearing from a few of our students on what the back to school has been for them. So thanks a lot. And here's the episode. All right. So we're here with Cyrus, who just is completing his first week here at Emmaus High School. And I uh, wanted to give us a little bit of an update on how his week was. So Cyrus, thanks a lot for joining us here on the ninth grade experience. It, it's been fun for the most part. I've gotten lost quite a few times. I've ended up in hallways. I have no clue where I am. <laughs> and it, the days seemed okay. All the teachers are pretty chill. Did you tour the building before you came in on the first day on Monday? Yes. So what was the big difference between touring the building and being here when all the students were here? Uh, definitely a whole lot more people. And have you found as the week has gone on that you've been able to find things easier and kind of get adapted to things? Uh, sometimes today I had to look at my, uh, my schedule though to figure out what room number my ELA teacher was because hers is in the middle of like the social and the LA. Yeah. So it was different, you know, cause today was the sec only the second time you've been to the B day level classes. So we're working on the AB schedule. So early, early, uh, indications. What do you think of the, the AB schedule where you have the different stuff every other day? It's okay. I've done this in the past at one of my old schools, upper Kirk. Okay. And, uh, it's, it's fun. Sometimes I do find it kind of annoying uh, when I want to see some of my friends because they're not all in the same classes. 
Do you have any tips for people on how to do the best with an A, B schedule, kind of overcoming that and kind of working through, you know, seeing only seeing a class every other day? Mm, stay low, get your work done. And that's about all I really can say because I can't really do that myself. If that makes sense. Yeah, that's okay though. But that's a good advice. That's advice we've been giving to all of our classes here during the first week of school is, is just kind of making sure you get things done and, and kind of just doing what you can do. So uh, last thing here. Um, so you came in, it's been a full week. So what's been the impression that you've had or how has it been different than what you expected or what did you expect coming in and how has this week been different? I kind of expected a, uh, whole lot fewer and less uh, high schoolers in the cap when the freshmen were no well, high schoolers. <laughs> yeah, I'm in high school now. <laughs> uh, I expected a whole lot less people in the calf, and it's kind of crowded sometimes. Yeah. And the whole thing seems pretty slow. So when the one person I know in the calf is getting his lunch, it takes him most of the time to get his lunch and hallways are super crowded it's like real backed up most of the time yeah so we're still ironing out all the kinks is there one thing looking ahead that you're after this first week that you're excited to get yourself involved in or do now that you've been here for a week uh not really i kind of just want to go home and sleep but i might help out with certain stuff every now and then yeah i hear that a lot i think a lot of people just kind of want to go home and sleep and you'll have a chance here we're coming up to a four-day weekend and uh, if you're watching the video of this, this is the first time that I think in all the days that we've that I've seen Cyrus that he's taken his hood off. So we're we're happy to see your ears and all the rest of you kind of there, Cyrus. So thanks a lot for taking a couple of minutes to uh, recap the first couple of days of your ninth grade experience so far. All right, so we are here with Prince, who is finishing up his first week here as a freshman at Emmaus High School. So Prince, how has it been going for you this week? It's been all right. I mean, Emmaus is kind of big, so it's kind of hard to navigate my way through my classes. But so far, I haven't really been lost like any major times. Did you come in for the tour any time before coming into the building? I did, but I didn't really pay attention. So, so that's at least you're honest. So when you came in, how was it? Did it feel different being in the building with uh, all 2,800 students versus when you were touring around? A little bit, yeah, because there's way more people in the hallways. What was one thing that's happened this week or something you learned this week that maybe you weren't expecting to learn or something that was a lot easier than what you thought it might be transitioning here to Emmaus High School? Uh, definitely finding my classes was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Even though it's still kind of hard, it was way easier than what I thought it would be. So um, in your classes, are you finding that things are starting off pretty pretty well? Like you're able to kind of follow along, you're learning all the different stuff? Yeah, a class is pretty easy so far. Um, was there something that you um, were expecting about high school that now that you've gotten here and started to see it a little bit, maybe you're like, eh, maybe that wasn't what I thought it was going to be like. I definitely thought that there was going to be a lot more homework than we got initially, but so far it hasn't really been too, too much. Now I'm just going to caution you. It's the first week. So I don't know. There may be some homework coming, maybe not today, but um, definitely. So are you, are you excited for the four day weekend? hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. And, uh, was there something that you learned or did this week that has gotten you excited that you're going to be able to do for the remainder of the school year, like a club or activity, or just what are you looking forward to now that you've been here for a week? I don't know. I'm just trying to get good grades because I didn't really do too well last year. So hopefully being back in the building will help me a lot. And the, is there something that you've come up with or a plan or seeing like a, some sort of uh, organizational skill or something that maybe you're thinking about trying to really work on this year you're trying to get those better grades yeah 100 percent, yeah because my grades last year they weren't too good i passed but like it's not the way i wanted to pass is there is there something that you kind of picked up on the first week here that maybe you're going to try during the course of the year to get those better grades i'm not too sure right now but hopefully as the year progresses i'll see something all right great so thanks to prince for joining us here to give us a little uh take on his first week here at a nice high school bow <laughs>